Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Bonbosher, and today I want to show you guys how to make a steezy comb filtered noise effect in Reason with the Thor synthesizer. Um, the sound you heard is the sound we're going to try to make from scratch, so let's get started. I do have a new project already opened here, and I did just copy and paste the note from the previous example over to here. It's just one sustaining note, so nothing too crazy. And in my rack I do have a new combinator already created here. Just right click and create a new combinator and you're good to go. In the combinator, let's right click into it and create our first instance of Thor. Click to show the programmer and make sure to right click on the Thor and reset the device or initialize patch depending on what version of Reason you're using. In the polyphony section here, this is completely up to preference. You can stack notes on top of each other for a thicker effect, or if you want to do it like me, where it's just one sustaining note, you can do it like that. So there are no wrong or right answers when it comes to polyphony for this sound. If you want stereo width, you can set it higher, but if you don't, you can just set it to legato. In the first oscillator section here, let's change it to a noise oscillator, and set the mode to bandwidth noise. That way we can start honing on specific frequencies or we can start opening the filter depending on where we set the noise mod knob here. Set it to about 20 for now and hold shift so you can hone in on a specific number. Now for the octave set it to 5 and make sure to activate the second and third oscillator to the first filter since we're going to be using all three. In the second oscillator section let's create another noise oscillator keep the octave at 4 and let's also set this to bandwidth noise set the mod amount to about 10 here and in the third oscillator section let's create another noise oscillator and this one will make it a S slash H type of noise which stands for sample and hold um, at lower frequencies and lower pitches it can start modulating anything you'd like depending on where you modulate it through the matrix here or in the higher frequencies it will start creating colored noise let's set the noise amount mod here to about 14 now in the first filter section here let's keep it a low pass filter 24 type 2 and set the frequency to about 203 hertz. Set the resonance to about 30. And the filter one envelope amount will set to about 99. That way we'll start having the filter envelope modulate the filter frequency here. Now when it comes to the velocity and keyboard tracking knobs, again, completely up to preference. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna turn them all down to zero. Now let's go to the second filter section here and let's create a comb filter. Make sure to route the shaper to filter 2 here and the filter 2 to amplifier here. Now if you'd like you can activate all three oscillators to this filter but for this tutorial I'm just going to activate the third oscillator through both filters. On the comb filter set the polarity to negative and set the frequency to 427 hertz. Set the resonance to about 57 and again completely up to preference I definitely encourage you guys to uh, mess with these parameters and try to achieve different results and let's set the filter to envelope amount to about 61 and again I'm just gonna turn down the velocity and keyboard tracking uh, for the sake of the tutorial and the sound. In the third filter section let's create a state variable. The reason for this is well, if we played the note out without this it would sound very muddy um, as a lot of lower frequencies would be represented as you can hear. Those lower middle frequencies are very muddy so what we're going to do is set a state variable filter here with a high pass mode that way we can start taking out the lower muddier frequencies. Set the frequency here to about 576 hertz and the resonance to about 18 just to give it a very, very minor peak. I'm going to set the filter envelope amount for the third filter to zero as well as the filter uh, velocity and keyboard tracking. And now let's go to the filter envelope section here. This is where we'll start modulating the filter frequencies of here. 
set the attack to about 4.36 seconds. Set the decay to about 17.7 .7 seconds. And the sustain to minus 21.8 decibels, or it's the default. Set the release to 77.2 milliseconds. And if we take a listen to it now, um, the note wouldn't last very long since the decay and sustain of the amp envelope is pretty short. So let's make sure to bump these both up as well. I, for my preferences, am going to boost the attack and release very slightly so there is no clicking when the note triggers or when it releases. So let's take a listen to it now. Sounds pretty eerie, uh, not much going on still, so let's go to the modulation matrix here. Set the first box to filter envelope and set the amount to about 50. I, again, highly encourage you to mess with these numbers and you'll get some really cool sounds. Now let's route the filter envelope 50 to filter 2's frequency. The second line here, let's route the filter envelope 100% to oscillator 1's modulation, noise mod. That way it will start modulating this here to open the frequencies or close them down. In the third box here, set the mod envelope to 72. And we're going to route the mod envelope to filter 2's resonance. We will be getting into the timing of the mod envelope here soon, but let's finish off the modulation matrix first. Now, go to the fourth box, select LFO1, route it 59% to oscillator 1 mod. That way we can give it a more of a vibrato sound while opening up the filter simultaneously. In the fifth box, select filter envelope again. Set this to about 81, and you can always go negative on these numbers to start inverting different parameters, which I highly encourage to do as well. In the filter envelope section here, set the 81% to oscillator 2's mod, noise mod section again here. So you have the modulation of the first mod and the second mod. LFO1 for the sixth box, about 38% to oscillator 2's mod to give it a vibrato as well. And I use that term very loosely. It just basically modulates it at a higher frequency to give it a vibration feel, a buzzing if you will. Again, on the last box here, set it again to LFO1, set this amount to 81, and set this to oscillator 3 mod and it will start to radically shape the sample and hold noise here. Now, completely up to preference once again, I just wanted to touch on this real quick, the octaves of the noise oscillators. Um, since it isn't white noise, if you change the octave, it will alter the sound. So, for this tutorial, I am going to set the third oscillator's octave to three. So that way it's five, four, and three down the line. But back to the modulation matrix. The last parameter we want to set is the filter envelope 100% to oscillator 3's mod. That way, we're essentially having the filter envelope and the LFO modulate each noise mod section here um, completely up to taste. Let's go to the LFO 1 section here and you can leave off key sync and tempo sync since we're going to create a buzzing feel so we need it at a pretty high frequency. Set it to 23.8 Hz. Now let's go to the mod envelope section here. Keep the gate trigger on because that's how it knows what to do. You can leave the tempo sync off and let's go to the attack. Set this to about 3.59 seconds. The decay is at about 4.35 seconds, or the default, and the release we can make at about 1.60 seconds. Now if we listen to it, it's going to sound pretty dry, but let's take a listen to what we have.
as you can hear, it's starting to have a lot of motion and it's starting to sound pretty cool. So what we can do to take away those harsh frequencies, you can always EQ and filter, but for this, all I really need to do is create a RV7000 reverb. And you can set this to taste however you like. Um, I like to set mine about 64 or halfway or a little bit less. Um, the decay and damp. I like to dampen out my sounds uh, sometimes, but again, completely up to preference. There are no right or wrong answers for this. I also like to mess with the delay on the Thor as well as the delay, the DDL delay that it has with Reason. Um, just keep everything default, and if we listen to it now, this is how it sounds. And just like that, you have a simple, not so simple, but effective way to create um, some transitional noise effects or whatever you like, um, completely up to you. So uh, I hope this helped. And uh, what I'm going to do is save this as uh, ABB uh, Comb Effects Tutorial. And I'll make it available to you guys to download. But um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope we all learned something today. Um, we're all students in this, so please leave me any feedback, comments, and concerns, and uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. So again, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.